Chris here from Barnyard Outdoors, and I've been working on some micro solar power stations, something that's a little more portable, a little more compact, doesn't give me, of course, the, uh, the solar input that I would like, um, but it does fit literally in my pocket. Look at this thing. This is from Big Blue, and uh, I've been using some of their products for years. I think my, my first larger panel was actually made by Big Blue. Um, so I picked up this little one. Now the reviews were kind of sketchy on this. I mean, what, what are you going to get out of a panel this size? Well, first of all, that's all folded up. I mean, it's, it's tiny. I'll put dimensions up on the screen for this and the specs on it so you can kind of see, but this thing just kind of unfolds. Look at, so it unfolds like that and then it unfolds like that. All right. Isn't that nice? That's, I mean, that's, that's a little bit bigger, probably a little bit better. It's, it's rated as a 25 watt panel. I have yet to get close to 25 watts on this thing. Um, and that's what a lot of people say in the reviews. But uh, I think a lot of that is it's folded. So I mean, even when you unfold it, it doesn't get completely flat. And getting this to be in a situation where you're gonna get good sun, I suppose you could, you could hang it. That might help as well. But even if you hang it, you can see it's, the panels are, are kind of wonky in different, different angles, so. So this is a video where I'm going to show you something I'm trying right now. It's probably not going to be my final solution, but I want to show you what I'm trying to achieve here. And what I'm trying to achieve is using a small battery pack. I've got a little 10,000 milliamp hour one here from EcoFlow that I like a lot. And then I've got uh, this, uh, this anchor one that is, uh, this is 20,000 milliamp hours, I believe. It, both good size packs. If you're, you're not using a lot of power, you're just charging your phone and stuff. Um, the trick is, is I wanted to be able to recharge these using something like this, building a, a small setup. And, and if you look at this, if I get all this packed together, I mean, it's, it's pretty compact. This, this would fit in my haversack easily. Um, and I need the power. I need the power when I'm out. I mean, you gotta charge your phone or, or GPS or cameras or anything else like that. So back to the big blue item. So it's got this little, little box on the back and inside there, there is a, USB-A port and a USB-C port. Let's see if I can show you that. Right there, so it's got it's got two ports on it, which is really handy. And then the thing I like about this EcoFlow one is it has a uh, has a USB-C cable right there, so I can just plug it right in. So I don't I don't even need extra cables with this setup. Now this uses USB-C charging, so I just plug it in like that, and then we'll unfold the panel and we'll see what we get. Um, I'm not in the best place here. The sun is almost directly overhead. So I just threw this out on the table. Let's see what we're getting for, uh, for input. All right, like I said, this is a 25 watt panel. Not the most ideal location for this, of course. And the panel's a little bit dirty because I've been using it. Uh, right now I am getting 4.9 watts in. And uh, that's showing that this battery pack, which is currently at a uh, little over 81%, would be fully charged in an hour and 27 minutes. And it is uh, slowly accepting a charge. Um, you're not gonna get anything speedy with a small panel like this. If you're looking for something where you can fully charge a pack like this in an hour or two, you're gonna need a much bigger panel. But there's the compromise, right? Do you have room to carry a bigger panel? Now, nope. sometimes this just might be the solution you need. And if you're running this on the back of your backpack, I mean, you're you're constantly going to be changing the sun angle. It's not going to be the best solution for that, but at least it's a decent sized panel, right? That's, that's the whole thing. It's a, it's a decent sized panel. Um, getting only five Watts out of it right now, honestly, is kind of a little bit of a disappointment. I would hope 25 watt panel like this, I'd be getting at least 17 or 18 Watts in. But uh, like I said, there's a lot of issues with just the way this panel lays down because of all of the the angles to each of the panels you know if i were to really work this thing and get it to where it would lay completely flat i think i would get i would get better output out of it um but like i said it's it's all a compromise when it comes down to it um five watts in is a little disappointing i've got panels that are you know 10 watt panels that are maybe half the size of this that uh that would give me five watts or more 
which is interesting because those are big blue panels as well. So I'm going to keep playing around with this setup. Um, I've seen a couple people on YouTube doing some of these, you know, micro solar power stations. That if I wanted to go out and do a quick overnight somewhere or a little quick camp somewhere, something like this could be an option. Um, could easily just kind of mount this to the side of the tent and let it go all day. Um, but I, I don't have a lot of confidence that it's going to fully recharge my battery pack. So what do you think of this concept of building a, a smaller battery pack system? I've tried some of those where they have solar panels built in. Those panels are just way too tiny. I mean, you're talking days to recharge the battery pack. Um, even the ones with the panels that kind of fold out that secure to the top of the battery pack, they haven't been that good for me. So I was hoping that this would do a better job. Um, we'll just we're just gonna have to wait and see. I'm still testing it out, but I think what I'll probably end up doing is carrying around probably a panel that's a little less wattage, but has a flat surface is gonna have a better chance of actually collecting the sun. Um, and I'll bring you along when I find a different panel. I know I've got, I actually have another big blue panel at home that I think might work a little bit better than this one. I don't know, we'll see. I'm just, I'm just kind of trying this out. This is something I've wanted to do. I've wanted a quick way to, to have a battery pack and a solar panel that's not gonna take up a lot of room when I'm just out, if I'm out on a day hike or an overnight or backpacking somewhere. I just wanted a portable solar system. And this is the start of that project. So I wanted to share that with you guys so you can kind of see what, what I'm doing, what I'm trying to do. And more importantly, I wanted your guys' opinions. Uh, what do you guys do? Do you guys do any of these like small solar panels trying to recharge, you know, pretty decent sized battery packs? This this is about what I want to make sure I can recharge. And, uh, and I need to know that I can recharge it if I have some sun. So. All right, I've been out here for a while. I've gotten it up to uh, 5.6 watts in, which is still, it's, I'm not impressed. I'm not impressed with this big blue panel. I am gonna continue to work on this project um, to try to find a solution, something that I think is going to work for me and I feel comfortable with using. That's kind of the big trick, right? Is I need something that I know is going to give me at least at least more than 5.6 watts. I mean, come on, I need to, I wanna get at least 10 to 15 if possible. And a, a 25 watt panel should be able to do that easily. So novelty is what I would say about this thing. It's, it sounds like it would be pretty cool, but it's just not. And sometimes, sometimes, you know, when you're testing stuff out and you're trying to, to build a new setup like this, this, this is how you figure out whether things are gonna work or not just coming down to a park in the uh, in the afternoon and trying it out. That's all I got to say about this. I mean, uh, great concept, great project plan, I think. I'm going to get this figured out. This is not the panel for it. This this big blue folding one is not the panel for it. Um, this little EcoFlow 10,000 milliamp hour battery pack I've been using or the Anchor one, I think are great. They give me the, uh, the power I need. Uh, when I'm out, um, this thing is is phenomenal. The EcoFlow one is. I've been using it a lot just uh, my day-to-day -day life. So let me know what you think. This obvious. This panel's a bust, right? This this big blue one that I have here is is not is not going to be the panel I want for this project. But let me know what you think. Let me know if you have any recommendations. Put it in the comments down below. Remember to like this video. Give it a thumbs up. That really helps the channel out a lot. Uh, share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel. Thanks everybody for watching.